All right, let's take a look at this crazy animal. It's an anaconda. Ah! Mr. Nick, Mr. Nick, he's our pig. It's Mr. Nick. Yay! Yay! Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Mr. Nick Show. And I'm your host, Mr. Nick. Today, we're going to continue our Animals of the World series by talking about animals from the Amazon rainforest, which is like the biggest jungle in the world. These are some pretty cool animals. First, let me introduce you to my co-host and my friend, Allie. Hey, Allie, how are you? Great, how are you? I'm really, really good. I'm excited to continue this series that we've been doing because I like talking about animals. How about you? I love talking well, let's get started with the first animal from our Amazon rainforest episode. It's a jaguar. Ooh, take a look at that cat. Uh, jaguar is the largest cat in the Western Hemisphere, which is like North America, South America. And it's the third largest cat in the entire world behind a tiger and a lion. And have you ever seen a black panther? Yeah. Well, a panther and a jaguar, actually the same cat, but there's a genetic difference that makes the panther all black instead of light with black spots. I didn't know that. Yeah, and you know, they say that the lion is the king of the jungle, but considering that the Amazon rainforest is like the largest jungle, I think we should call the jaguar the king of the jungle. The next animal is a bird. Let's take a look at a macaw. Wow. Mm -hmm. Super bright. These are very, very pretty, I think. There's a bunch of, there's actually 18 different species of macaws, so all different colors. And it's kind of neat is that, you know, people can actually have these as pets. Really? Yeah, now they are wild animals. They do live in the Amazon rainforest. That's why we're talking about them. But people do have these as pets. So I don't know, uh, I don't know if I'd ever have one as a pet just because I don't really know how to take care of birds, but that's a very, very beautiful bird. Don't you think, Allie? I think so. And I think they actually talk too. Do you know that? No. Yeah, they, these birds can talk. They can communicate. It's pretty neat. You might like it, Mr. Nick, because you already have a talking alligator as a pet. Would you want a bird friend? Uh, no, I'm okay. Okay, maybe we'll let these macaws stay in the jungle. Yeah. Now let's take a look at another bird. This is a toucan. Wow. Yeah, I don't think people usually have toucans as pets though. Look how big that beak is. And did you know that toucans, so they have a hard time sometimes finding places to live because they have to live in a tree that's either hollowed out or has a big enough hole for them to fit in because look at how big those beaks are. So they have to find their house to be big enough to fit their beak? That's, that's it, yeah. I mean, it's not a very big bird, but that's a big beak. Yeah. And they have several that usually live together, so you have to fit a few in there. It's, it's not like they just, they don't just build a nest, they actually live in a tree. So not that easy to find housing for a toucan. And kids, if you've ever had Fruit Loops, they may look like Toucan Sam. All right, let's take a look at this crazy animal. It's an anaconda. Ah! That is a huge snake. They can get up to 20 feet long. It's part of the boa constrictor family, which means that when it wants to eat something, it gives it a nice big squeeze first. Mr. Nick, I like the colorful birds better. You're not a fan of snakes? No. Yeah, you don't want none of that anaconda? Yeah, I, I think that's an animal. Actually, you know what? The anaconda in the rainforest, there's only two animals that are actually tough enough to eat that anaconda, because that anaconda is no joke. One, we've already seen as a jaguar, and the other one we're gonna see coming up later on. Yeah, I agree. That anaconda, I don't wanna mess with one of those. All right, so we just saw an anaconda that Allie was not a fan of. So let's take a look at an animal you might think's a little bit more cute a pink river dolphin. A pink dolphin? Right, a That's pink a dolphin. Real? That's a real thing. Yeah, it lives in the river, so it's a freshwater dolphin as opposed to what you would see in the ocean, saltwater dolphin. And they're actually born gray, 
and they turn pink as they get older. Wow. Yeah, I, I'm gonna guess it's maybe because of the fish that they eat, maybe high amounts of mercury, that's my guess, but they turn pink as they get older, which is uh, makes them kind of different and interesting. And of course, your favorite color is pink. Okay, I have a feeling you're gonna like this next animal too, because it's kind of cute. Yeah. It's a sloth. Let's take a look at that sloth. What do you think, Allie? Oh, they look kind of cuddly. Yeah, they do, huh? Well, a sloth, they have pretty not good eyesight or hearing, so they use touch and smell to find their food, which I'm sure can't be that hard because they live in trees. They probably just eat the leaves right out of the trees, but they also sleep a majority of the day because they have very slow metabolism, which means that it takes a long time to process the food they eat. So they just hang out and sleep. And they have really huge claws that they hang from the branches. They don't actually hang using their fingers or toes or whatever. The claws hook on. So they could be totally asleep, totally passed out. And they won't fall out of the tree because the claws are just like hooks hanging onto those branches. That sounds like fun. You think you'd want to sleep upside down hanging from a tree? I think so. Actually, we had a picture of you hanging or sleeping in a hammock. Remember in the seasons episode that we did? You were sleeping in a hammock, which is hanging from a tree, so yeah. I think it's just like that. I can sleep and eat all day long. Wow, sounds like a sloth has it made on vacation. All right, let's take a look at another bird. This bird is a little bit bigger and a little bit more fierce than the two birds we've already seen. This is a harpy eagle. Now the harpy eagle, usually the male animals seem to be bigger than the females, but a female, harpy eagle can be up to twice as big as a male and can weigh up to 24 pounds. A bird? A bird, a bird that flies. I mean, ostriches can get up there, but they don't fly. Same with penguins, they're full of blubber and they gotta keep warm in the Antarctic. However, a harpy eagle is a 24 pound flying bird with five inch long talons. That means their talons or their claws can be five inches. That's longer than my finger by about an inch and a half. Can you imagine a 24 pound bird come, like take your turkey on Thanksgiving and imagine that big thing coming at you with talons longer than my finger. Uh, that is no joke. That bird. That sounds so scary. Yeah, this is, I'm telling you, the Amazon rainforest is not for animals that cannot protect themselves. That is a crazy place. All right, remember earlier when I said that there were only two animals that could uh, take on an anaconda? One was a jaguar. Well, here's the other one. It's a black caiman, which is a lot like an alligator. Hey, did you hear that? You didn't like that anaconda, but being an alligator, knuckles, looks like you could take them on. I'll pass. Yeah, well, that's a good idea. Just go hang out with the sloth in your hammock. Yeah. Well, the caiman, the black caiman, like I said, looks a lot like an alligator. It can be up to 13 feet long, and it hangs out in the water, waiting for animals to come, maybe get a little drink, and then, boom! <laughs> Pulls them into the water, and I think you know what happens after that. All right, let's move on to the world's largest rodent. Now you would think that's uh, pretty disgusting looking, right? But I think it's pretty cute. Let's take a look at a capybara. All right, this is the world's largest rodent. They live in pretty big uh, families, but I don't know, he, he looks, like I'm thinking rodents like rats and stuff, but I, don't, I think he looks kind of cute. What do you think? Yeah, he's not too bad looking. Like a guinea pig maybe, but way, way bigger. Those things can get actually pretty darn big and they're really, really good swimmers, and they can hold their breath for up to five minutes. Wow. That's impressive because their lungs, you know, they can't be that big, five minutes. And they do that so that they can hide from animals that may be trying to get them. So they can pop in that water, hold their breath, and by the time they come up, the animal I was trying to look for a meal took off. But that's a capybara, the world's largest rodent. All right, we are at our last animal in our episode talking about the animals of the Amazon rainforest. And our last animal is a spider monkey. Let's take a look at a spider monkey. Wow. 
Now you see that tail? He can actually use that tail like a fifth arm. So he can hold himself and move himself fully around with the tail. So that's pretty neat, because imagine having like four limbs that you could normally use to swing from trees and grab food. Then all of a sudden you have a fifth one. That's why it's like a spider monkey. It's kind of like Spider-Man, right? Yeah. Pretty neat. And did you know that these guys here are so smart that they can break branches and throw them at animals or people that they think are trying to harm them? Yeah, so if you see an animal that's trying to come and get you, you're in the trees, why not start throwing branches at it to get it to leave you alone, right? Wow. Pretty smart way of getting away from potential predators. All right, I had such a great time today talking about all these animals of the Amazon rainforest. I'm really having a lot of fun doing these episodes because I'm learning so much about these animals from all around the world that I would probably never ever get to see in person. I hope you guys are enjoying them too. And right now, it's time for the joke of the day. <laughs> Okay, hey, Allie, are you ready? Ready. What type of key won't open a door? Mm, I don't know. A monkey. <laughs> oh, thanks. I thought it fit in well with our Amazon animals. All right, guys. I hope you love this episode. Give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you want to see all of our other episodes that we're doing. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Mr. Nick, Mr. Nick, he's our pig. It's Mr. Nick. Yay.